Hello everybody, welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton and these aren't my hands, these are Tom Phillips' hands because I've played Rhyme and he hasn't, but what no one has done, or except a few people probably have, is played Rhyme on the Nintendo Switch, which is what this is. Look, it's is Rhyme that, on is the that, Switch. Is that what I'm holding? You are holding Rhyme on the Switch. Well, blimey. It is Rhyme time. There's no reason. There's no reason or rhyme time. That was what I was referencing. Yes. Okay. So um, I have to explain this. I'm jokes excited. For myself. I'm excited. I've had my eye on Rhyme for a long time and I've known it's been coming to Switch for a long time. So mm -hmm. I've been waiting to play it on Switch. What has uh, drawn your eye to Rhyme? I'm going to guess, actually. Yes. Is it the lovely art style? It's the little fox. It's the little fox. It's a cute little fox. But yeah, it's, it's the art fox. style. It looks absolutely beautiful. And it looks absolutely beautiful on the Switch screen as well, I have to say. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the volume up a little bit. Do it. It's a lovely looking um, stormy sea. I like games which start with stormy, stormy seas. Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Yes, that's one of my favorite um, Zelda games actually. And this game is a little bit zelda -y. It's not very zelda -y, I've heard that said. Um, so you don't have like dungeons and things really. Not like Zelda. But you but have an open world. You have a little open world, yeah. Is it open world or is it sort of it is, linear? Or? It is open world-ish, but it, is, it does kind of feel linear, especially later levels get a bit more linear. This start world, uh, when you kind of find your feet with the controls and stuff, this is probably one of the most... Actually, mm, it is one of the more opening worlds. There is a, there's a desert world later on that feels a bit more open world. But Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> But well, Desert this spoilers. game's been out for quite a while now. I, I think, know, you know, I know. So uh, here's the hero. I think the hero doesn't have a name. So oh. at least I don't think so. Shall we call him Ian? Yes. Okay. This is Ian waking up, just uh, just washed ashore. So he was shipwrecked. He, well, mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is that maybe. a spoiler? No, not really. Okay. But he might, you never know. You don't know yet. You've just washed ashore. Let's have a look around. And you're having a look around. So, looks like everything is uh, running pretty sweet on this switch. Yeah. It doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be lagging. There's no kind of frame rate. I I haven't got eyes of a digital foundry um, nerd. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if they were in here right now, yeah, they'd be counting they, the pixels. They would. There you go. This is you going the right way. Good. So far, so good. I so feel far, so I good. feel slightly under pressure since you know exactly what to do. Well, that's the good thing about this game is that you can take your time and appreciate the world. You don't necessarily need to go one way or another. You can just just have a lovely little time checking out the uh, the environment. The environment. You can stand on a cliff and look out to sea. You Why can, do that when I get to the top? Yeah. Oh look! Oh look! What is that? Cutscene. Ian there, staring slack jawed. The uh, giant stone erection in the distance. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> it looked a little bit jokey there. This is this is a lovely game for lovely people, and you're you're spoiling it. I'm not a lovely person though, Tom. Well, that is true. Cool. So you see, I you like don't his really little, know where um, you... um, his arms as you... he walks down the. Uh, yeah, there's the... some fan fantastic character animations in this. What have we got over here? Is that a... Is that a wild is pig? Is that an armadillo? No, uh, it's a pig. It's just oink. <laughs> have you not heard of the famous uh, oinking pig. armadillos? <laughs> Pigadillos. Oink Hogton. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Ian Higson's alter ego. Uh, is that another little pig? That's very cute. Yeah, I'm going to go over to the cliff. So I actually, I have no <coughs> idea where I'm going, what I'm doing. Cool. I'm just having a little explore. Yeah, just have a little explore. Oh, that was nice. You see, I stopped and he sort of stumbled a little bit. Yeah. There's another pig. Yeah, this pig's barring your entrance, though. Oh, I got a bit of vibration then. Yeah, he's all like, nah, mate. So there's no, there's no dialogue in the game. There's no... Um... There's no dialogue, no, like, HUD, really. Um, but... It's environmental things will tell you what you need to do. Like, that pig was barring your way. Yeah. So, what are these pigs doing? They're having a little snaffle of some... Mm. Uh, what have we got? Apples down here? Yeah, so maybe... Can we can we pick some of them up? 
Not from there, but maybe you could find some to schnaffle. Ah, some apples to schnaffles. Mm, some schnaffles. Okay, there you go. Press Y to pick apple. There you go, that is, that is Do we think a that's big an apple? apple. That might be some kind of melon. Some, it could, do melons grow on trees? Where do you think they melon? grow? I thought they were bushes. <laughs> Bush? What? Melon bush? No. I just, I'm having a very hard time picturing they a tree full of in, melons for some reason. They grow in Sainsbury's. Oh, of course they do, yes. Oh. Here you go. So he's, See, so he, it's oh, all, it's all a lot of, pigs yeah. As well. It's all very it's environmental nice. storytelling. Like, I like that. So, so you've got a little, little colourful fox, fox. golemy, statuey thing. Ooh. So what you don't know is you shouted at it. Why did I shout at it? I don't know, but you can press any time, uh, X any time. Oh, maybe not go. any time. I thought you played this game again. I did. I ran. A, I can remember running around shouting at things. Well, <laughs> hey, were you playing hey. the game at that point, or were you just? Oh no, actually, that might have been when I was drunk at the weekend. Yeah. Can you shout at the pigs? Go and stand by a pig and press X. Um, is that a little one? I can't believe you want to. Go and shout at that pig. There you go, see? Oh, what? That's horrible. Why would, you, why would you scare... Oh. You're a, you are a horrible man, it's true. Uh, I was following the, the colours of the wind. It was a bit yes. Pocahontas, wasn't well, it? Well, yeah, so they floated off down the hill. Down this hill? Yeah. Okay, shall I go down this hill? Yes. All right. Don't break legs so out. Careful. Is there, damage full, in. is there full damage? Is there full damage? Remember. <laughs> so you see, look at this little oh, this thing here. So there's three little oh four. Yeah. Now one of them is lit up because I've activated you, it. You were very nice. Now I think I'm very nice. Yeah. You see that in the distance there? Yeah. Should we so, check that out? Yeah, that's casting a little beam of light up into the sky. So perhaps maybe we should look for other beams of light as well. Oh, this is good actually because I would probably get her in the sea stuck and uh, this is the one I did, right? Mm. Okay. Oh no, no, this is the one you haven't done. Oh. Because it's all blue and lit up. So again, just... X to shout at a stone. You shouted the wrong way, but it still picked up the shout. Oh, I shouted and very loud. that's down. So yeah, have a look around and try and find some more shafts of light. <laughs> Ian. Sorry, I should know. You've better said by now. shaft now, and you've said erection. I, it's true. I can't take you anywhere. Well, no, that is also true. Uh, well, I was one over here, but how do you get? How do you get there? Oh, you're teasing me now. Mm. Oh, I'm not. I can't remember. Oh, no. um, isn't that the way that I came up? Maybe you can go to the right and climb that up onto oh, that ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I have a terrible sense of direction. Oh, I don't know if you can actually. Maybe not. That might be the way back. Did De you? Have you definitely played this I've game? I've definitely played it. <laughs> yeah, this is the way that we came up because okay. the tower is in the. So there is. There distance. is definitely a way up, somewhere. Okay, there is also one more as well somewhere. Yeah. Let's have a look down mm. here. Is this oh yes, here you go. This is the way, and then you go through here, and there's some little. Ooh, I is there a way to go? I'm not sure now. Did I fall in the water? You might have done. I fell in the water. I think I can jump across to the right. Let me just do that. There we go. Sorted. Very athletic. Yeah, you're going the right way now. Yep, there we are. What's that? Some kind of lantern, or um, is it a bars? I don't, I've, got, I've got a bit of a glare from at the screen from the angle I'm set up. You can, if there's, if you see vases and stuff, you can normally shout at them and that'll break them. So you've come back to the beginning again, there, Tom. Yeah, that's, yeah I that's think you went true. the wrong way. Okay, so if you jump across to that, jump up, jump up, and yeah. get down, and then instead of you went left last time, didn't you? Yeah, as so if I go straight. Yeah. It's very calming music, isn't it? It's quite a relaxing it's, game. It is a nice relaxing game. But I've heard it said that it's 
it maybe is quite sad sometimes? It depends, really. I'm dead on the inside, so it didn't affect me at all. But it is, yeah, there can be some moments that. Mate, mate, you go on out. I like go. this. I like that sort of thing. It, you know, those sort of games stick with you. It's quite like the ending, uh, without going into any spoilers, it's quite. You have to have been paying attention a bit. It's, it doesn't really spell it out for you what's happened. Hmm. Uh, but if you've been paying attention enough, it works all right. It seemed to get a little bit. struggle a little bit there hmm. when you were kind of loading up the new. Horizon. Let's just say this is. Oh no, I don't want to. You don't want to do that. Don't want to jump down there. Up you go in. Just say this is uh, unfinished. Oh, is it? I didn't even know that. It's not out on Switch yet, is it? No. Uh, Comes out in November, I believe. Ah, so it's still pre release build. Yep. It's probably a good thing to know. Right. Um, oh, yeah, I can go in. Yeah. And There's quite a lot of climbing up towers in this game. Like Assassin's Creed, but without the stabbing. Without the stabbing, without the uh, synchronizations. But with shouting. With shouting at statues, yeah. Awesome. I will. Yeah. Now there's. Whoop. Oh, it's okay. Sometimes there are shortcuts out, but I think you can just keep going back this way. Oh, while you're up here, you might as well have a look and see if you can find that final shaft of light. Is it over oh, here on the left? Yeah, that is exactly where it is. Okay. I th thought it was because it looked like a shaft of light. Yeah. Is it um, is it me or is it turning night time? It is. It's turning night time. As the music swells, it's getting a little bit dark. Let maybe a little bit more ominous now. Oh, that is a lovely sunset. It's a lovely it? sunset. Here we go. This was Digital Foundry. They do a time lapse. They probably would, and they'd say that that's that sun shining at sixty frames per second, ten eighty p. Look at the teraflops on that gigawizzle. <laughs> Man, Rich Ledbetter's going to kick my head in. I can't believe you just killed Ian again. He's that kind of guy, isn't he? Rich, not Ian. Ian is lovely. Yeah. Uh, as in this game, Ian. They not as in... Uh, this is... preposterous. What are you doing now? A to climb down. Okay. You still heading towards that shaft of light? Well, I've sort of forgotten where it is. I'm going to try. It was, like, in the sea-ish. Yeah. I suppose I'm just trying to not die on these cliffs. There we go. Is it over this? Mm. So it was to the left of the the big stone <laughs> shaft. Control yourself, Ian. <laughs> Sorry, I find it. It's we're day recording two this of EGX. On, uh, yeah, I was going to say, we're recording this on day two of EGX. My and filter's already nearly gone. The mania has set in. God help me on Sunday. God. God, God help, help everyone. Yeah, God help everyone who has to <laughs> work with you. Yeah. So Was that the mig shaft? Okay, we're back in the centre, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm going to try and head out okay, a different so I way. I think it's that way. -ish. You should see the light. Yes, I see up. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. there it is. Just about. Did you hear that? There was an owl. Oh, how did it go? That was a seagull. Did you hear that? How did that go? Cacao! Cacao! Did you know I actually provided the uh, sound effects for this game for all the animals? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that was a lie. I didn't really. See, you might Disclaimer. think that that was Ian doing a pig impression, but he just makes these noises sometimes, and none yeah. of us really know why. Neither do I, though. How do you get down there? I think down here. Okay. Oh, you see that? You'd think that was the pig on the screen, but actually it was Ian again. Yeah, it was just me. I was just eating some sweets really quick. <laughs> that was the pick on the screen. Sure was. Some crabs there? Mm-hmm. What do the crabs make? Noises. 
<laughs> oh no. Anyway, Ryan, what a lovely game. <laughs> We're at the sea now. Uh, I, hope, I hope our boy can swim. He, he certainly can. He can also swim underwater as well. Oh. Uh, oh, look sure. at that. That's lovely, That's isn't, pretty, it? isn't it? There's no air meter. Play too many I, games. You know what? As soon as you go underwater, I'm like, where's the air meter? He can, he can drown. Oh, I don't want to drown him. Question is, so, can he get back up on these rocks? Uh, maybe. Maybe you have to swim underneath. Oh. Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on, look up. No, no, no. Up. No, no, no. I'm not going Might to. I missed something. Oh, fine. I'll go back. Is there any anyone standing around? That, no. Mm -hmm. what, Ian around? Higton, are you, Spin the camera around. are you spoiling things? What's that? Oh, what's that there? Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad I saw that. Thank you. Yeah. A to dive. Yep. And then B to surface. That's right. And then climb up something. Just gonna swim around in circles for a little bit. There it is. Yeah. Somewhere. There we go. Right. Have a look for that guy now. I think he's gone, hasn't he's he? Gone. Who was he? Who was he? Who? Oh, I, I can't imagine. Oh, this unanswered questions. This calls for a journey of discovery. I was going to say, journey is a different game. Oh yes. This calls for a quest of discovery. Yeah. You found your final fox statue. I did. What could happen next? It's game over. Well, okay. I mean. It's be a bit short, but I've I've enjoyed my time with it so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. It's not the uh, length; it's the quality. Is that another penis joke? I As I know. said, control yes. <laughs> Day two. Yep. Okay. So. Do you remember the button for shouting at things? Yeah. You might need that. Look, I love the animation running down the stairs. Yeah. So cool. There we are. Mm -hmm. So let's shout again. Pew. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's your little fox Yay. friend. We Just shall call him Tom. Sir Foxington. Oh. oh. What's happening to that stone there? <laughs> Ian. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I did a Let's Play with you. It and was Assassin's I'm, Creed Oranges. And now I'm remembering why. Yeah. That was when I got a really oniony sausage delivered. Do you remember that? Oh, God, yeah, mm. at E3. How could you forget? In the middle of our gameplay demo. Yeah. It just appeared. That was one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <clears throat> so you see, you shouted at that little statue and it opened the door. I could see this being a handy skill. Mm-hmm. What is up here? Where's my fox friend gone? So your friend, the little fox friend. Hmm. He will basically, he will guide you. He might not show you how to get, he, he, he might not show you how to do things and how to get to places, but he'll give you a, an idea of Something needs to be done, you see. So There's a little switch on the floor there, maybe. So that door you opened earlier had a little circle on that. On it, like that. So perhaps you need to find something to shout at. Oh, like Ooh, this thingy. Yes. There you go. So wait, it's a different shape, though. This one's shaped a little bit like an hourglass, maybe? It looks like Chibi Robo. It does. If it's shaped like an hourglass, what does that mean? Does that mean that... After a certain amount of time, it disappears. Yeah, you look you look good. Oh, you're not that good, though. No. Let's try again. Bye. Run, 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 run. Do it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Climb up. Whew, and you are through. There you go. That was some good puzzle solving. 
even though I basically helped you with it all. Well, I mean, it was it was a joint effort. Okay. And I feel like this is the start of a beautiful friendship. It is the start of a beautiful friendship with your lovely little fox friend. And this is probably a good place to wrap it up. We've seen the introduction. basically the introduction. Yeah. yeah, you got to grips with the controls. You know, it was a cool. You got tutorial. an idea of the, uh, the the way you solve the puzzles and stuff. Yeah, it's a lovely looking game, isn't it? it is, it's very beautiful. Now this game is of course already out on the PC, the PS4, and the Xbox One, but. It's coming out on the Switch when? Do you know? November. November. The something. 17th, I've just been told. November the 17th. You knew it all along, didn't yeah. you? So did I. I Definitely just, did our research. It was like a shout from beyond. Yeah, it's just, it wasn't a shout, it was your memory. Okay. Being vocalised. So yeah, thank you very much for watching uh, this video and checking out some gameplay of Rhyme on the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed this video, we got plenty more coming up from Eurogamer Expo, I mean EGX. Of course. Wow. Stay on brand. EGX. This isn't 2014 anymore, is it? No. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so play more coming up from EGX and uh, daily videos on our channel. So, uh, yeah, do give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to Eurogamer for more. And um, have a lovely day, especially you, Tom. Goodbye. Bye.